It's pretty wild. Anybody older than 21 should be able to buy recreational marijuana around February of 2023. Now that that ballot measure passed just last night, Smoky River Entertainment District developers tell me that they want to be holding their first events soon after that along the Missouri River, just north of Independence. You go to any music venue throughout the United States, right? Cannabis has been a part of it, rather you know it or not, rather it's been illegal or illegal. That's why Joey Pintosi says it makes a lot of sense to turn this mostly unused land along the Missouri River into a massive entertainment district with wedding venues, an amphitheater, clubs, restaurants, and spots for people to consume recreational marijuana out in public. It's normalizing cannabis in everyday life. Joey and entrepreneur Jack Mitchell are already involved in Missouri's medical marijuana industry. They're pushing this massive project on an ambitious timeline, all because of the small village where they plan to build it. Because the river used to go down there and up and around there. That area became a village back in the early 50s or somewhere around there, which has its own government, its own residents. The thing is, there are fewer than 10 of those residents in the 2,000 acre village of Riverbend. Joey and Jack tell me they've been working with the residents, allowing the approval process to move much faster than it might in bigger cities, where Jack admits more people might push back on an idea like this, including its cannabis components. Those are things that we can overcome here without, you know, those mitigation efforts because we don't have those large residential communities. We don't have all these sort of vested interests. We have a blank slate here. The plan is to start clearing out those trees right along the river in the next few weeks, clearing the ground for what could be festival grounds and the first small buildings that could be hosting events as soon as spring of 2023. The 291 corridor, which is where we're at, has been searching for an identity forever. Bill Hammond lives in the small town just across the river from the venue called Sugar Creek. That town owns some of the land that Smoky River plans to turn into a river walk, where these trees have been allowed to grow out of control for years. Plus, Sugar Creek's going to get a 40-acre park out of it. This land we've had since 49, and we've uh, ignored it. Developers say it'll take about 30 to 50 million dollars to create the first phase, which is just a small space for music and a few buildings there that would be clubs or restaurants. They say once it catches on, there's plenty of land and already plenty of interest from entertainment and cannabis brands across the country, John.